As you know, Brynn is our youngest and my baby girl. And some of you might have heard last night from Ryan that that's not how we grew it up. She was supposed to be a boy. <laughs> well, it turned out that even though she was seven years younger, that little girl was a beast of an athlete. She was bigger, stronger, and faster than any of the boys her age. She had a rifle for an arm and a swagger to her gait. She had a posse of boys who looked to her as the undisputed leader. Step out of line, she would deck you with a fastball behind the tight. As her dad, I just smiled. And Ryan and I most both admit she was the best brother he could have ever had. Everything seemed to go as planned all the way through high school. Sports and dad, sports and dad, sports and dad. Then came freshman year at UNC. She was supposed to be focusing on golf <laughs> when I heard rumblings about Bryn dating a football player. He was everything I had heard. Handsome, polite, and very gracious. He had that aw shucks southern charm down to tea. <laughs> Needless to say, he won my daughter's heart and my wholehearted approval. And here we are today. Bryn, you are truly the most stunning bride, and your appearance today is something Colby and I have worked on for years. <laughs> Those of us who have known Bryn since birth would not have been surprised to see her walk down in whatever sports jersey was in season or for a team of a whole older sibling. Bryn was dressed each day as if she was about to walk onto the field or a court. How close? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I love you more. You look beautiful. <laughs> After all that time. I know. You look amazing. Oh my goodness. Yes, ma'am. Couldn't be much. better. Couldn't be more excited. I love you. Yes, ma'am. I love you more. Yeah. Finally time. <laughs> Especially yeah. with this new thing. I know. You got the fly. I know. I knew what time to be out here. Oh, yeah. In the hills. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. Too. I love you. Thank you. You're as excited as well, I am, well, right? Good evening. We're gathered here to worship God and to witness the marriage vows of Trevor, Luke Collins, Bryn, Christine Walker. Trev, I love you. I know that's probably something I should say last, but to me, it should always come first. Love, it's the reason we're standing here today, just a few steps from where we fell in love. And when I fell, I fell hard. Whether it was your corny pickup lines, sweet talking southern charm, or a sneaky kiss on the cheek, my heart would smirk and wonder how in the world it was possible to love someone the way that I love you. Bryn, today is the day we have been eagerly anticipating for quite some time now. And as this moment could not get any more special, we stand in the town where the story all began, along with the people who were by our side through it all. From the moment I met you, I knew that you were special, and I'm not just saying that because you wrote my final drama paper for me during our first two weeks of dating. You have and always will bring out the best in me. Who is it that gives this bride away? My wife and I. You revealed a side of me that I didn't know existed, even though sometimes you have to do a little digging to discover it. There's a softer, more gentle, and slightly more girly brand reserved just for you. <laughs> One I promise to show you for the rest of our lives. Before we met, boys were always my best playmates and teammates, but when I met you, something was different. I had found my soulmate. It wasn't long before we started playing this game of life together, making game plans and calling plays as each day surprised us with a new blessing or challenge. I know without a doubt, you'll never let anything keep you down. And when you do, I promise to pick you up, brush off the dirt, and point you to the Lord for the right direction. After all, we're just lucky to play this game together. And I hope when we look back on our journey together as a team, it won't be the mountaintop moments that we were proud of. 
I hope it's who we became in all the moments in between. I promise that we'll never lose perspective, and when I get too serious, I'll lean on you to keep it light and fun. But of all these promises, it's love that has the utmost importance to me. And since being with you, I've been so lucky to live every day in love. So Trevor, I promise I love you today. I'll love you even more tomorrow, and I'll love you forever and ever. Amen. Standing here today, I most importantly thank the Lord for the love that has bound our hearts together and for the guidance that has brought us here today to celebrate the value of love and marriage. Together with God, we will face whatever challenges come our way, knowing that we have each other to lean on and a path to follow. As your best friend and soon-to-be husband, I promise to pray with you, to dream with you, and build a family with you. I promise to be your caddy in all of life's adventures and support you no matter the dream. I promise to love you loyally and wholeheartedly today, tomorrow, and as long as I shall live. I love you. Trevor, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I say for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Trevor Collins. One of my very favorite artists is North Carolina's own Eric Church. I hear he's quite a Carolina fan. The Carolina fan here? Anybody? I think so. While I was preparing this toast, I was listening to some tunes and I heard him sing a song titled, Doing Life With Me. And it struck me that this is really what a wedding's all about. During the refrain, he repeatedly sings every big, every little, in the everyday things. The notes and the words and the songs I sing to the ones doing life with me. And that last phrase, to the ones doing life with me, is so beautiful and describes this occasion. Trevor has given me someone to look up to my entire life. I will never admit this again, but you have taught me literally everything I know. You seriously have been the best big brother and best friend I could ask for. I still remember when Trevor told me he met Brent. I'm sorry, Brent, but the first thing I thought was, sick, free golf lessons for me. <laughs> <laughs> to both of you, I have no doubt in my mind that you guys will have a long and happy marriage. Congratulations to the both of you on such a special day, and I look forward to making many more memories with you too. I love you both. took in girl talk about boys goes to UNC for literally like two seconds and has a boyfriend. Bryn, as hard as it is to give away my baby sis and my girl, I know you'll make the most supportive and loving wife. Trevor and you are a family now, but I will always be your big sister here whenever you need a cold hug. Breathe in.